Glory to God. How you doing? Regina? Tashina? What is the spirit of Jezebel? That's a different story. Hello, how you doing, Vova? Elizabeth, Sally. Spirit of Jezebel it has the same characteristics as Jezebel in the Bible, so do your study. That's homework for you, whoever asked that. God bless you, Brittany. Loriana, hello from the United Kingdom. Shalom, peace be unto you, Deborah. You're welcome. Bless you. Shelby, bless you. We are getting ready to pray. Cecilia from Kenya, wow, bless you. Greetings, hello, Pastor. Amen. Good afternoon, Latoya. Ndidi, Ndidi, I'm pretty, I hope that's the right pronunciation, correct me if I'm wrong, hello, we're, we're about to get, it. we're about to get into prayer, I was so busy praying that I didn't know, <laughs> amen, glory to God, yes, I'm Ebo. In this fast, the enemy trying to block me, trying to erase the message. Praise God. So is that a testimony? I don't really get the question. I don't really get the comment. But if it's testimony, email, email it to me so I can thank God with you. Glory to God. God bless you too. We're getting ready to pray. Um, Share this on Twitter. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Periscope. Let me know how your fast has been. Let me know how your fast has been going. If you've been blessed. If God has been touching you, I've been receiving the testimonies. I love them. God has been good on my end as well. Thank you for sharing. I'm sharing. He's trying to distract me. Don't let him distract you. Amen. Yes, I am, Ebo. Bless you. You have a lot of energy. Glory to God. So do I. That's what fasting does. You get energy. People think that fasting makes you weak and tired. But when you're weak and tired, that's when you should fast. A lot of times, people, we lose a lot of virtue doing so much things. Going good, tasting the salt from the crack. <laughs> Amen. We lose a lot of virtue doing all these things. And then the last thing we're supposed to do, the first thing we're supposed to do, fast, we don't want to do it because we think it's going to make us more tired. Yes, I've been blessed, interceded enough for a couple of my friends. Amen. Glory to God. And we're going to pray for family members tonight as well. I'm dealing with curses tonight. Today, I'm dealing with freedom from every Pharaoh that's been holding you in captivity. I was praying and I was asking God. I said, Lord, what should I minister on um, today? What should I minister on this afternoon? I was right here. And then that's what came to me. Pharaoh, let my people go. Glory to God. So we're going to deal with that spirit. First time back in a while. Bless you. That was my list. Amen. That's confirmation. So we're getting ready to pray. If you're in the United Kingdom and you want to take the communion, go get it ready. As soon as we're done praying, I will be administering the communion. If you've... Amen. Yes. Every pharaoh in your life is going to be broken. You're going to receive freedom for you and your possessions in the name of Jesus. If you haven't shared, share If it's your first time, this is Prophet Ugo, and I'm here to pray for you guys. We're currently on a third. We're currently on a three-day fast. Today is the third day. Today is the third day, and God has been doing so much, and I thank God for that. I don't need to scope, but I'll definitely join the next fast. Yeah, yeah, we fast the second week of every month. So April is the next time we're going to be fasting. So get ready, prepare yourself the second week of April, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And God does great things. He's been blowing my mind. I thought it couldn't get better than the last one, but this one has just been awesome. I pray that he continues to release ideas and wisdom on how to conduct these as time goes on. And I also did mention that by God's grace, during the middle of the year, 
it won't be a three day fast, it'll be a five day fast, amen. So those of you who've been doing it consistently, you should have built up the strength by now and the core should go on a five day fast. But if you can't, then you could go on a three day fast when the rest of while the rest of us go on a, on a five day fast. So begin to prepare yourself so that I believe that's that's from July. Can you drink of course you drink water. It'll be a liquid fast. I may do if 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 it's the five day fast, I may do it a liquid fast for those of you who are not really who are not really used to it. But if you're used to it, you can do strip only water for five days. There's an eyes. Through prayer, through prayer, praying in the Holy Ghost, reading the word of God, studying, meditating on the word, it gives you more intimacy with God and it helps you hear the voice of God. So we're about to get into prayer. Glory to God. If you're just getting on, God bless you, Michaela. Share. Um, I want you to get in an atmosphere of prayer because we're going to be doing, we will be doing, Hello, Talia. We will be doing spiritual warfare this afternoon. I love praying from this altar. And I have my email. Let's go to my website. And you'll see it there. We thank God. Everlasting Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. You said no man cometh unto the Son except the Father draw him. And Lord, you have drawn us into your presence this day. And we are gathered for you. We are not gathered, we are not gathered for man. Your children are not gathered for me. I'm not here for myself. But we have all gathered for you, Jesus. And I pray that you move in this place. Let them know that this is not a gathering of flesh. Let your children know that this is not a gathering of gossipers. That we're not here to play games. But let them know that for your word says wherever two or three are gathered, you are there in their midst. I pray that you begin to show up in this place, Holy Spirit. That you release your glory in our midst. That you release your power among us. That you flow in your might. I pray for us around him and a covering this day that you begin to surround our vicinity, you begin to surround our bodies and our homes with your fire, that even as we shall pray, that there will be no retaliation, there will be no backlash. For you, for you said in your word that you've given us power to tramp upon scorpions and snakes and over every power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us. And we stand on that word. For let God be true and every man be a lie. Let God be true and every witch be a lie. Let God be true and every power in the heavenlies be a lie. We pray for a release of your might. Lord, I stand on this altar as your servant. For you said, through the hand of a prophet, Egypt, Israel was delivered. And by the hand of a prophet, you preserved them. And I stand this day as a servant. And I pray for angelic reinforcements. That you begin to release angels to fight on our behalf. I pray that as we intercede and as we pray, as we bind on earth, that let your heavenly angels begin to bind in heaven. That you begin to release warring angels and delivering angels and gathering angels and healing angels this very day in the name of Jesus. We pray for a release of your power. Of the supernatural. A release of the supernatural. A release of the supernatural. Sadiku ba aliada fasute bebiku tababa. For Lord, you change now. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Your ways are the same. The beginning and the end. The Alpha and the Omega. The author and the finisher of our faith. You change not. As you delivered your children, the Israelites, from the Egyptians and from the hand of Pharaoh, 
I pray this day that you deliver your children, those under the covenant of the blood of Jesus, from every Pharaoh that's been keeping them in captivity. For Lord, their cries have gone up unto you. And I pray that you hearken unto their voice and deliver them. For you said those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. And this day we call upon no other name. No other name but the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That at the mention of his name every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, those situations that have caused us to bow before. Those situations that have turned us into slaves. Those situations that have brought us at a place of depression. And sadness and turmoil and anger. We pray that they begin to bow to you. As we mention your name. As we proclaim your name. To let every tongue that's risen against us and judgment be condemned. Let every weapon, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue risen against us in judgment shall be condemned. We're going to pray a prayer. I heard the Spirit of the Lord telling me to cancel every demonic decree against you. When the Pharaoh heard that, it, that the deliverer of the Israelites was to be born, he passed a decree that let every male child be thrown into the Nile River. And spiritually, it seems like just a physical act of wickedness but the gods of the Egyptians dwelled in the Nile River. So by him passing that decree, that blood, the blood of all their children was used as a sacrifice to their God. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, let every decree that's been passed, every citizen that's been passed in the realm of the Spirit, let it be overruled by the reason of the blood of Jesus. I want you to repeat after me. Say in the name of Jesus, let every decree, every sentence in the realm of the Spirit, which has been passed, that requires my blood. Every decree that requires my destiny. Every decree that requires my family. Every decree that, decry, that requires my increase. Let it be overruled. By the superior sacrifice of the blood of the Lamb and by the blood of Jesus, let it be canceled. Begin to pray that prayer. We pray this moment in the name of Jesus for the blood of the Lamb which was shed before the foundation of the world. It has paid our price. It has ransomed us. We pray this very day in the name of Jesus that let every decree which has been passed in the demonic realm, every decree which has been passed in the earthly realm, every decree that which has been passed in the second heavens, in the, in the celestial high places, that requires our life, that requires our blood, that requires the blood of our children, that requires our destiny and our families, that requires our finances and our increase. We pray this moment by the reason of the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we say let that decree be overruled. Let it be canceled this moment. In the name of Jesus. Let that decree be canceled. Let it be canceled. Let it be canceled. Let it be overruled by the blood of Jesus. Listen, when a decree is passed in the realm of the spirit, agents are sent to enforce it. The same way that a king would decree or declare, would declare a decree, 
and his soldiers will go forth and enforce it. I want you to repeat after me. Say, let every soldier of the enemy, let every demon, let every strong man, which has been sent to enforce these evil decrees against my life, let them be brought under the judgment of God and let their assignment be terminated in the name of Jesus. We pray this moment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We say let a redeemed and soldier, every footman, which has been sent on an assignment to carry out this curse, to carry out these decrees, these evil decrees in the name of Jesus. Let the assignment be terminated by the reason of his blood. Because of the blood of Jesus, let every assignment of every demon, of every strong man, sent to enforce a curse, sent to enforce a decree, sent to enforce a vow or oath or covenant, sent to enforce the wickedness in our lives, we say let it be broken. Every strong man of sickness and disease, every strong man of poverty, every strong man of guilt, every strong man of bitterness, every strong man of rejection, every strong man of lust and perversion. I speak to you, I command you to get out. We say your assignment in the lives is hereby terminated by the reason of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your assignment in the life is hereby terminated by the reason of the blood of Jesus. Let these decrees be overruled and let it be assignments against us be terminated in the name of Jesus. We are tabaku malia dava sute bebe. Ruya le disiki beduna baba ubaba. Zarea la bakudana basu bebe ika badiaba. La rabaduna mania bazupaba. Ruhu kudara badi sada boku babadi. Ho rasare ke doro bodo. Rupe dere bada saka badu lebe. O shede bebe tura ababa. Rupa da baba sute be. Yes. I don't know what saying. I'm, he's, he said, I'm uncrowning every Pharaoh. Lucili be ifa duma ava. He's uncrowning every Pharaoh which has stood against your life. Lupo du vosu. I want you to repeat after me. Say in the name of Jesus. And I want you to speak with authority and with power and with faith. Speak with authority. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let every Pharaoh which has kept me in captivity, let them be drowned in the Red Sea. In the name of Jesus, let every Pharaoh which has kept me in bondage, which has kept me in captivity, let the judgment of the Almighty God, yes, say let the judgment of the Almighty God begin to fall upon them. Begin to fall upon their household. Begin to fall upon their gathering of demons. Begin to fall upon those witches. Let every Pharaoh in my family, in my church, in my community, in my life, which has been keeping me in captivity, we say in the name of Jesus, let them be judged by the hand of Elohim. We pray this moment. We pray this moment in the name of Jesus. We pray this moment in the name of Jesus. That let the gods of the Egyptians, let every Pharaoh, let as you judge the gods of the Egyptians, that you begin to judge every god that stands against us. That you begin to judge every demon. That you begin to judge every principality. That you begin to judge every power. That you begin to judge every strong man. That you begin to judge every witch, every wizard, every warlock, every principality. We pray that you judge them. We pray that you judge them. That you trample them in your anger. That you speak to them in your wrath. That you vest them 
in your soul this pleasure. Let them know that we are the sons of God. Let them know that we serve a living God. We pray that you show Satan, that you show Satan, that you are still the boss. We pray, oh, we pray, everlasting Father, we evoke the sword of judgment, the sword of vengeance, the sword of vengeance, the sword of vengeance. Let them be exposed, let them be exposed, and let their hands be crippled in the name of Jesus. Oh, Sakaba Luda Baduma Ava Zurai Kalabadima Futo Sadiba Upava. Horei banda sada baku balita rababa. Reali dana mazuka tadi baku tazaba. Yidara baku maliada mazuka baba duma ati mebe. Zuriyali dibo zibuku sharabada. Yes. Now we're gonna pray the prayer. Even as Pharaoh let them go, he still followed them. He still followed them. You're gonna pray. Some of you feel as if you're free, but there's something following behind you. You said, I know it's a change, it's been a change in my life, but I feel as if there's something following me. I feel as if I'm not really dead yet. There's, there's still a little bit behind me. I can't seem to shake it. They're following you. Mazutala bakuba atava I want you to repeat after me. Say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Speak with authority. Say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let every demon, let every, every Pharaoh which is following me, which has been trailing my footsteps, which has been watching wherever I go, which has been watching my advancement, which has which has kept an eye on my family. Let them be drowned in the Red Sea. Le kalabadu basura ipa pray that prayer. Rian de le basura akabada. We pray this moment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We send shock waves into the heavens. We send fire into the atmosphere, and we pray this day. The literary demon, literary spirit, literary addiction, literary bondage, literary spirit, literary witch, and every wizard, and every stronghold which has been following us, which has been following us, let them be drowned in the Red Sea in the name of Jesus. Every power of the enemy, every power of the enemy, every power of the enemy which has been following your children, we declare and agree that let them. Trampled upon, let them be swallowed, let them be swallowed, let them be swallowed by the Red Sea in the name of Jesus. Let not one of them escape. Surround them in your waves of fury. Sarita Makuba Batusha Dababa. Liakabadu Sarabadine. Let them be swallowed as the ground opened up and swallowed 200 people. I pray that a ground be, be beneath them should open up this moment and each and every one that follows us be swallowed in the name of Jesus. We are the Dana Mavuko Sadabadu Lebini. We are the Deka Tene Babu Zena Mavutaba. Zia the Bakunda Namaluba Vetia Surabe. We are the Dana Marupa da Sara Bakuba Bataya. She real Abadumovo. Opa zali akupa afada. O sebe be We're going to pray. I need you to understand that when Pharaoh said that they can go, the first condition he gave them was that you can go, but you must leave all your sheep. You must leave all your livestock. You must leave all your cattle. See, the devil has no problem with letting believers go at times. 
But he doesn't want you to receive your harvest. He doesn't want you to go with your harvest. He'll rather have you saved, sanctified, praying in tongues while your finances are in his hand. While your blessings and your increase and your gifts are in his hand. And we're going to pray this moment that whatever the enemy is holding, every blessing, every increase, every business, every finance, every breakthrough that the enemy is still holding, that's still being held in the land of Egypt. We're going to pray that it be released. That it be released. That as we come into freedom, that our resources come into freedom. That our children come into freedom. That our business come into freedom. That our education come into freedom. That every part of us remain free in the name of Jesus. I want you to repeat after me. And speak with authority. Say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus. Whatever possessions of mine. Are being held. In the heavens. Under the ocean. In the sun, the moon, and the stars. Whatever belongs to me. That is being held in the demonic realm. That Satan is holding on to. Let it be released right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Begin to pray that prayer. We pray this moment in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said you wish above all things that will prosper and be in good health, even as our soul prosper. You said it is you who gives us the power to gain the wealth. Everlasting Father, we pray this moment that whatever the enemy is holding, whatever the enemy is holding captive in the realm of darkness that belongs to us, let it be released this second in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let it be released this second in the name of Jesus. Some of you, your body parts are being held. Oh, so they be they do my afada. Your health is being held. You're saved, but you're sickly. Your mind is being held. You're saved, but you're always depressed. I pray this moment for a release of every organ, every body part that's being held in the kingdom of darkness. That's being held beneath the water. That's being held in the heavenlies. That's been chained up and hidden. Let every body parts. Let every every health and every healing. Let it be released right now by the reason of the blood of Jesus. We cancel every confidence with the enemy. I pray for every mind under the sound of my voice. Which is being held in captivity by every Pharaoh. We pray this moment that let every mind be released, every spirit of depression and sadness, every spirit of guilt and shame and condemnation, every spirit of fear. I call you out right now in the name of Jesus. I said, let every capacity to think, every wisdom. Be released in the name of Jesus. Let cloudiness of the mind begin to go away. Let confusion be broken off of your minds. I said be broken off of your minds. Be broken. I I said nothing that belongs to you will remain in the kingdom of darkness. Nothing that belongs to you, your finances, your blessing, your increase, your health, your children, your family, nothing that belongs to you will remain in the kingdom of darkness. I call forth every lost gift, every gift and every destiny that's been stolen. That's been snatched away. Lord, I pray that you begin to release your angels this moment. Your gathering angels. 
So we can go on an assignment and gather every stolen gift, every lost gift, every stolen anointing, every stolen increase, every destiny that's been thrown under the sea. I want you to repeat after me. The devil steals destinies. How? Before you were born? Because of what you put your hand to do? Through sexual intercourse? You can be sleeping with an agent of the devil and by you committing that act, you've sold your destiny. Many people don't know this. We're going to pray this moment. Say in the name of Jesus. Let my destiny, let my gift, let my calling be restored unto me, irregardless of how I lost it. Say, I renounce every covenant, I renounce every contract with the devil that is keeping me in captivity, every legislation. Sign between me and Pharaoh. Let it be broken. And I call forth a release of that which belongs to me. In Jesus' name. I said, let there be a release of destinies. A release of destinies. I want you to put your hand on your belly. Put your hand on your stomach. Say, let every destiny, let every gift, let it be calling that was once in here. Let it be restored. Let every destiny in me be birthed out. Let the will of God for my life be birthed out. Let the calling of God for my life be birthed out. Let my assignment be birthed out. Say I cancel. Every abortion of my destiny. I cancel every abortion of my calling, of my ministry, of my family, of my gift. Let it be restored in Jesus' name. I want you to pray that prayer. We cancel every abortion of destinies. Every abortion of destinies. We cancel every abortion of destinies this day in the name of Jesus. Every prolonged labor, every destiny in waiting that's been hindered or blocked in one way or another, I said, let it begin to fix itself. And I call for a birth. I said, a birth in the realm of the spirit. A birth in the realm of the spirit. Let every gift be activated. Let every destiny be birthed out. I pray for vision and clarity and direction. The second in the name of Jesus. Some of you have books in your belly. Some of you have organizations in your belly. Some of you have churches and, and children in your belly. Rupara badi fesule kadababa. Riala damasuleba. Some of you have businesses in your belly. I said, whatever God has placed inside of you, let it be birthed into the physical right now in the name of Jesus. We break every hindrance. We break every limitation. We break every barrier. I said, let the calling of God be made manifest in your life. This moment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let every book be birthed out. Let every business be birthed out. Let every calling be birthed out. Let every home, every school. I said, that thing which God placed inside of you, 
Today it manifests. Today it becomes a reality. It becomes a reality. And through faith, lo suteme ipaka. The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, we call it into the physical manifestation that before the end of this year, the things begin to happen. Supernatural promotion, divine increase. Let the heavens over your head be open. Let the blessings of God begin to rain down in the name of Jesus. Wele bianda fasuta babada. Ria le bada basuka batile bebedu. Yandala maduba bazuko badaba. Ria la bada saka dima upa batiyama. So kole bati ipovo. So pole ipa di kupovo. So pole ika di kupovo. Ropa da saka di ipe deteya. Yes, Jesus. There's a clarity in the air. There's a release. So I said there's a release. We kalamandu fasuka shadabadabava. Let me know how you're feeling over there. Really pesukon de ipava. Lord, I pray that your glory should fall upon them. I pray that your presence, we need you. Let them become more aware of, your, of, of you being around them. I pray for a greater awareness, a greater awareness of who you are, a greater awareness of your presence and your love. I pray that let them begin to feel the presence of the angels which you've surrounded them with. Let them begin to feel the presence of your angels which you've surrounded them with. Lord, let them begin to feel the glory that is upon their bodies, that's upon their lives. Let the love of Jesus begin to flow. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, everlasting Father, I pray you touch each and every person here. I pray that you touch each and every single person watching this. Let not one of them, let not one of them feel left out. But let them know that you love them. Let them know that even the hairs on their head are numbered. We suku shati ili kabala. Rupoto sada maliki duna ma vasaba dube. Kuye dara vasara ba uka vadama libidi andu sobobo. Lord, I pray that your breath. Let your breath. I, 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 I feel God opening ears. He's opening ears. Lori kandu saba vadu sharabadibe. Let every ear be made open. Be opened. La tipa sukutubovo. Let every spiritual ear be made open. I said, no longer shall you be insensitive to the voice of God. No longer shall you be insensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit. I said, from now on, there shall be a, a greater clarity of his voice. Every veil which is placed around you, keeping you in darkness and confusion, is lifted this day in the name of Jesus. We so live Lord, I pray that you breathe a breath of life upon them. That you touch them in your wind and your glory. That same breath that became the spirit of man. That you breathe it upon their spirits. Breathe into their nostrils. And fill them with your precious power. That you fill them with your precious spirits. Leah Kababa. If you're not baptized in the Holy Ghost, I want you to repeat after me. Say, Jesus, baptize me in your spirit. Fill me in with your spirit. I yield my vessel unto you that you may inhabit me. 
and that I may receive power as the Holy Ghost comes upon me. Let the comforter be comfortable inside me. I'm going to pray for you. Lord, Lord, let all those who seek for baptism of the Holy Ghost, even for those who pray to speak in tongues, I pray, everlasting Father, that you begin to breathe a breath of life into their nostrils. As Jesus breathed upon his disciples and he said, Receive the Holy Ghost, so I breathe unto them. I pray that let it not be my breath, but yours. I said, let the fire of the Holy Spirit begin to surround them as this breath goes forth. I pray for a baptism, a baptism of the spirits, a filling even for those who need to pray in tongues. Can they begin to pray? I want you to take deep breaths. And just call upon the name of Jesus. Let your breath, let your breath, let your breath, let your breath begin to fall upon them. I said, receive the Holy Ghost. I said, receive the Holy Ghost. Be baptized from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Let the fire of God begin to fall upon you. Let it begin to fall upon you. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know what's going on around you. Lord, let that wind begin to rush into their rooms. Let it begin to rush into their surroundings. Let your fire, your fire, your fire. Fall upon them. Let your glory, glory, the cloud of glory, that cloud of glory, that cloud of glory, let it begin to hover over them this moment in the name of Jesus. The cloud of glory before you. Jesus. We pray that you begin to watch, walk into our surroundings. That you begin to come into this place. I just want you to say, Jesus, I accept you. Draw near to me. Say, draw near to me, my precious Savior. Jesus, it's all about you. I pray that you draw near to us. That you begin to enter their rooms. A peace is going to hit a lot of you as the Prince of Peace walks into your room. You may feel the power of God fall upon you. You may feel an electricity or a fire before you. I thank you, Jesus. Come into this place in your beauty, in your beauty, in your glory, in your might, in your power, in your anointing, in your splendor, in your majesty. Come into this place. Come into this place. I thank you, Jesus. Oh, Sadima Lukuva Tarabadi. I pray that as you come in, that you begin to touch them. Each and every single person. That you touch them where they need to be touched. That you touch their hearts. That you touch their body. That you touch their minds. 
Let you touch their stomachs, you touch their backs, you touch their spines, their internal organs, that you touch their mouth, their legs, their bones, their knees, their marrows, their nerves, touch them with your love. Let your liquid love begin to flow down them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. We thank you, Jesus. And Lord, we thank you for what you do. We thank you for what you've done. We thank you for deliverance and freedom. We thank you for life. We thank you for breakthroughs and blessings. We thank you for a release of your children from the camp of the enemy. All glory belongs to you. Let none be ascribed to me, but let our glory belong to you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm getting ready to, if you're in the United Kingdom and you want to take the communion, let me know if you're ready. I thank you. Lord, I pray for those who are taking your body and your blood. That you begin to do a new thing in their body. I pray for strength. I pray for power. I pray for anointing. I pray that you begin to fill them. Begin to fill them this moment with your precious power, with, with your precious love of peace. Give them peace. As they take your flesh, I pray that you give them control and power over their own flesh. As they drink your blood, I pray that you break the hold of every curse, that you fill them, you fill them with love, and let there be healing and release of deliverance. In Jesus' name, amen. You may take it. Today is the last day of the fast. We thank God for what he's been doing. We thank God for what he has done. I'll be back on tonight at 10 p.m. for prayer and communion. Remember, continue to email me testimonies. Continue to email me testimonies and prayer requests on Prophet Ugo at ugoatsechi.org. If you haven't given, you give. If you haven't studied the word yet and memorized that, that verse, do it. Amen. We give glory to God. I'll see you guys tonight at 10 p.m. Be blessed.